beautiful. This is the Jupiter Temple in Morocco, built around 150 AD. And yet it is said that Greece was the origin of civilization. In ancient times, games of combat such as wrestling took place. The warriors were regarded as sacred. Furthermore, the act of betting on the winner was also considered sacred. This is the origin of gambling, which has since branched out into recreation and business. The business of betting on whether a policyholder survives within a certain time frame. The origin of life insurance. Well, that's all for today. Uh, that's right, there won't be any class next week. Class cancelled again? If he keeps this up, I bet they won't hesitate to fire him. Mr. Keaton? Did you move somewhere else again? Because another paycheck has been marked returned. Oh, sorry about that. <sighs> so could I get you to write down your new address, please? Oh, uh, sure. Uh... Oops. Hmm. <laughs> Thank you. Um, uh, by the way, Mr. Keaton, there was a telephone call for you from someone in London. Hmm? From Lloyd's, the insurance company, I think. Oh, is that right? Hey. Lloyd's is an insurance market, not an insurance company. Huh? They're not a company, but a consortium of underwriting syndicates. I take it you bought a policy through them? No, you see, Lloyd's deals in high-risk insurance mainly. They provide the business to underwriters, the people who handle the insurance personally. And in exchange, the underwriters perform all of their financial transactions through Lloyd's. But, why is Mr. Keaton receiving phone calls from them? Who knows? He always cancels his class. Maybe he's dabbling in the insurance business. Yeah, right. <gasps> oh! Huh? He did it again! Mr. Keaton took the tape I lent him! Leon Pappas. He was a mercenary soldier from Greece. As you may be aware, I've been underwriting Pappas insurance through Lloyd's. Until recently, he appeared to be living a quiet life back in his home village. But tragically, he died in an accident. Is something bothering you about his death? Well, the manner in which he fell from the cliff did strike me as very odd. But what's even more unusual about it is the beneficiary. He had a girlfriend, her name is Sophia, and yet for some unexplained reason, he designated Ox Art Company as the beneficiary. Hmm. Uh, that is a photo of Ox Art Company's president. Is this Ox Bayer? Uh, do you know this man? Well, sort of. Good! It's simple. Your mission in this case is to do a thorough investigation and find out the actual cause of Pappas's death. And, uh, find out why Ox Bear has been named the beneficiary. A ticket to Greece. Good luck. You said Greece? Guess I could. Same place it was 2,000 years ago. Nothing interesting in Isidoro's village, sir. I mean, we don't even have electricity. Tourists are gone and won't be back until the summer. Right now, it's deserted. But it's wonderful for people to see that a 2,000-year-old village still exists today. Well, the whole place could collapse at any given moment. This area is famous for its heavy winds. They've managed to wear down everything. Mm. Oh, there is only one person who lives where you're going. A lady named Sophia. She sure is a strange one. Doesn't really like to speak to anyone. Oh, 
about it, Sophia? Are you ready to talk now? I've told you already. I have no idea. But even if I did know, I would tell you nothing. <laughs> <clears throat> so you want to be stubborn? Excuse me, but would you mind picking up that piece of paper for me? <laughs> Thank you very much. I'm heading your way. Come on. It certainly is windy in this village. man we passed. I believe I may have met him before. You're Sophia, aren't you? Please, I I'm not here to make trouble. I'm an agent. My name's Keaton. Agent? For an insurance company? Yes. Uh... Oh, um, Sophia? Uh. <sighs> I've read the accident report. I'd like to hear your version. Could you show me the way to Mr. Pappas's house? Lose. Huh? Uh oh. <sighs> Sophia! I'm over here. Keep up. It's this way. <sighs> it's like a giant maze. Amazing, a vessel for making wine. I've heard that a large number of Greek ships had sunk under the Aegean Sea. From what I see here, I guess it's true. You can find them all around here. There are thousands in this ocean. They are all just garbage. Totally worthless. But I notice that you still continue to collect them, Sophia. I know, it was. His will. Huh? Hmm. Are you able to talk about it? Tell me about Mr. Pappas. I've always considered Leon my hero, ever since I was a little child. He was one of the strongest men in the village. And he had so much courage standing up for truth and justice. I even jumped for joy when I found out that he had decided to join the National Liberation Front. But... that was a mistake. He was not the kind of man who should have gone to war. What'll we do, sir? Well, one thing is for certain. That bloke isn't just passing through here. I heard that Lloyds of London has taken an interest in this case. What? If he is an operative sent by Lloyds, we have no choice but to prevent him from leaving this island. This really is a wonderful place to be. Around here time moves so slowly. It's just worn out. The clock stopped ticking long ago. But isn't that why Mr. Pappas came back? to be home again. That day, Leon was watching the sea just like you. That day? The day he came back to the village. <gasps> Leon! Leon. But the Leon 
who stood there wasn't the Leon from before. Not only was his body wounded in battle, but his heart too. And soon after, he started collecting old things he found in sunken ships. Ancient Grecian urns, statue of Hermes, so beautiful. Sophia, from these relics I feel the souls of those who had commanded great power and wealth. Don't you? Perhaps Mr. Pappas was trying to regain his own soul and the meaning he once had in his life by collecting these relics. It was then that they started coming around here. Whatever valuable relics Leon hauled up from the ocean, he willingly gave to Ox Bear. What? Were they using extortion because of something Mr. Pappas had done in the past? You see, Ox rose to Sergeant Major in the British Special Air Force. After his discharge, he fought in Africa as a mercenary. There was some incident between them in Africa. Leon always blamed himself for causing the death of his friends. Deep down inside, he believed he was nothing but a traitor. He caused their deaths? Back then, Leon trained with the Polisario stationed in West Sahara. He was assigned to the unit commanded by Ox. They were surrounded by the Moroccan troops, who forced them into a battle at the Volubilis ruins. Blow them up, Leon! Do it! Take them out now, along with the temple! Leon! No, I just can't do it. No. Seven men perished in the battle. He said that place was too beautiful for him to destroy. Ox threatened Mr. Pappas, using that story to keep taking the treasure. Tell me, why are they still coming out here even after the death of Mr. Pappas? There's one treasure Leon never handed over to them. That's what those men are after. What treasure? Huh? Huh? It's Ox. They're planning to look for the treasure, but first they're gonna have to get rid of us. Is there a back door? Hold on. Those men had their jackets buttoned and their left arms were positioned away from their bodies. It can only mean one thing, they're carrying guns. Perfect.
Just stand back. Leave it to me. <sighs> Come on, pull yourself together. <clears throat> Those two. Where are they? <clears throat> Now I remember. I first met you at the National Park. It was when I was taking the test for the SAS. What's wrong? Are you worn out? You're the instructor of the survival training. You're the master! <laughs> Didn't I teach you that ancient weapons are sometimes more accurate and therefore more effective when defending oneself against the enemy during windy conditions? These are the rare coins of Ithaca Island. Many thought that they were long gone. Well, no wonder those men were after this. These coins are worth a fortune. When they heard about these coins, Ox started making all kinds of threats. But Leon refused to give them up. And the next day, Leon fell to his death. Ox threatened Mr. Pappas with the past, and for his silence, he was designated the beneficiary. And then... Oh! Papa's lost his life, all for these coins. Nothing is worth the loss of a life. Nothing so rare that a man's life must be sacrificed. Look at this. See the carving on these coins? This is Ulysses. Legend has it after the Battle of Troy, he went through ten years of hardship before reaching Ithaca Island. When his ship finally returned, he saw Ithaca in ruins. But it eased his soul because there was someone on the island that he loved. A woman. Mr. Pappas wanted to protect these coins, even if it meant losing his life. These precious coins. I want you to have this. Oh, I can't. He'd do the same. I know he would. Just one. Told ya, there was nothing to see, was there? Huh? Yes. Just as you said.
as the hunter and the hunted. It was naturally understood that animals were the game when humans spoke of the hunt. Advances in tools and methods mean that in the modern age, humans now hunt other humans. The professional, the bounty hunter. His name is... Next time, Little Giant.